Paul writes to the Romans, and please take it in. Uh, we have all different gifts. Everybody has gifts in accordance with the grace that has been given to us, and we should use them appropriately. If it's prophecy, we should prophesy in analogy with our faith or our faithfulness. If it's ministering, then minister. If it's teaching, then do the teaching. If it's encouragement, then encourage. If it's sharing, then do it with generosity. If it's words or goods or money, whatever. If it's leading, lead with, with drive, with zeal. And if it's charity, acts of kindness, do it with happiness, do it with a smile. So here we have a, an, a practical approach. So if you have a gift, just start doing it for the common good. And I'd like to finish with uh, Peter, who always has good advice for us in his writings. And here again, everyone received a gift, everyone, everyone. Minister the same to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God, manifold grace of God. God is so gracious and loves to give. And he reduces the, the things we do to speaking, words, and ministering, deeds. So he says, when you speak, speak as words of God. When you minister, do it as of the power from God. And God shall be glorified. That's our goal in all these things through Jesus Christ. We have the Trinity here again. God shall be glorified in all these things through Jesus Christ. And to him, that's the ultimate goal, be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all. We had the Holy Spirit, word, power and assurance, quick lesson from 1 Thessalonians. Then how can I prophesy after being filled with the Holy Spirit? A quick look at power, love and common sense and the Trinity and being constantly refilled with the Holy Spirit. And the number 13799 and Peter and Paul say get practice. Seven basics on the Holy Spirit, little clips for you to start with the Holy Spirit or to restart and it was fun and please watch and like my other videos and there's more to come.